Another beautiful day here on 5 Minutes with Sean, maybe 10. Last week's episode full of piss and vinegar, as usual, when I start talking about digital retail and manufacturers. Today, I'm going to continue with the piss and vinegar because I'm just tired of the EV discussion. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. Um, there's a couple of things that, I, that I, I don't like. First of all, I don't like government overreach at all. I don't like government incentivizing, making it easier. You will have to pull my gas car from my dead, lifeless fingers. I can assure you of this, okay? I have no interest in being part of the EV evolution. Do you know why? Because I don't buy a red cent of it. We have no infrastructure in this company to support in this company, in this country, excuse me, this company, definitely here at Carbis, no infrastructure, but for EV. But in this country, we do not have it. We do not have the electrical grid to handle this. Okay? We don't have the charging set up to handle enough vehicles on the road. There isn't enough, apparently, of the lithium to go around just yet. Okay, On top of that, there's no actual code of recycling when it comes to the batteries. Very gray area. Otherwise, those things are going to become wastes out in the world. All right, And most importantly, just like I said last week, in my discussion with regular everyday consumers about vehicles, EVs never come up. All right, now I'm going to say something that's completely unpopular and I know I'm going to get a ton of shit for it. But the idea of switching to EV is to make it green. Is, is that, do I understand that? Zero emissions. How about the factories that build these vehicles? Are they zero emissions? Because I get the feeling they're not. And on top of this, what you're trying to cure with this world, as I understand it from scientists, is incurable. So... Are we doing this because we think it's important? Then you get manufacturers who say, we will be all electric by 2035. For what? What's the hurry? What do you know about the future of these vehicles? How long have they truly been on the road? And what have we dealt with? Okay. And on top of this, then you get into EVs, you get into all these computerized, the self-driving modes. Are you kidding me? This shit is ridiculous. Again, infrastructure. We are always skipping ahead of infrastructure. Even the EV side from the OEM perspective, they want to start breaking out these brands. With what infrastructure? You want to use the existing dealer to help you get into a market so you can cut them out of it? Because you think you can hold MSRP because that's what Tesla's done? Tesla will not be able to do that forever. Mark my words. The more people who get involved in the EV space and lower the price point, Tesla will have to come along. Consumers will expect a discount. I don't care what people say. It's an expectation of humanity. Now, whether people actually want to deal with the negotiation, that's a whole other thing. Doesn't mean they don't expect it. So I'm just, I don't know if it's just me. It, it probably is. But I'm just tired of this rush ahead of infrastructure in life. And there's nothing about this that I think is any better for our country than, than what we're already currently doing. We've already worked on making cars burn cleaner. We've already worked on all these other things. What about hydrogen technology? What about cleaner diesel fuel like Europe used forever and now they've gotten on the EV boat? What about the EVs they got stacking up in fields with their batteries leaking into the ground? What are we doing about this? As I joke around here at my house, what about the batteries? Does anyone know what it takes to go throw out 15 AA lithium batteries? A prick of blood in your firstborn, people. That's 15 AA batteries in a baggie. You understand? You want to put out entire fucking cars? What about the, uh, the mechanics who are at risk working on these vehicles? What about the first responders who, when shown to electric vehicles, want nothing to do with them because they're afraid they're going to fucking explode? What about the infrastructure, people? Look, I'm a hippie. Anyone who knows it about me knows the hippie. I love a Grateful Dead. I love my Birkenstocks. I love my Subaru. Don't confuse that with somebody who thinks this electronic vehicles is going to somehow save our world. Sorry. It's propaganda bullshit put on by people whose agenda it is to sell you electric cars. So I know today is not going to be popular with many. And lucky for me, I don't do this show to be popular. I do this show to get shit off my chest. 
And if one or two people say, you know what, I hadn't thought of that, then it is a win. So please, by all means, feel free to flood the inbox, flood the comments, tell me what kind of a terrible person I am. But at the end of the day, just remember, EVs aren't going to change shit. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a wonderful week.